I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but until God opens the next door, praise him in the hallway. That's right. Until God opens the next door. You see, man, let me tell you something. I got so many things going through my mind right now. Listen, God can open doors that no man can shut. And he can also shut doors that no man can open. See, God can make the crooked things straight. Your situation, it may look cloudy, it may look fuzzy. But I want you to understand one thing. Yeah, until God opens the next door, that's right. Learn to praise him in the hallway. Ain't nothing better than a praise in the hallway. Because it shows how grateful you are for what you got right now. Don't be too attached to the outcome. Don't be too attached to the blessing. Be attached to who God is. Rather, you're, you're in the valley or you're in the mountaintop. Because, see, he's the same God of the valley and same God of the mountaintop. <laughs> Don't allow a blessing to have you, you know what I'm saying? You know how people, you know what I'm saying? If you're getting ready to feed a little kitten and, and you hang a little piece of ham like this, what the kitten do? The kitten be like this, following the little piece of ham. Don't be like that when it comes to a reward or a certain blessing or a certain status or monetary gain or wh whatever. Don't be like that. But I know what you can be like that after, after Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, wherever his word is, that's where you want to be at. See, when we put our eyes on Jesus and we follow him like that cat with that piece of ham, we ain't worried about what's going on in the world. God going to open doors up for you, but I need you to love him for his heart and not just his hand. Like it's not no slot machine type thing. So you may be in a valley right now. You may be in a hallway. You may look down the hallway and you see that person getting blessed. Boom, the door open for that person. What about little old me? That's right. That person got blessed. What about little old me? That person blessed too. Hold on. What about little old me? I be praying. I be, I be getting my reading in. I be talking to God. What, what about me? How come my door ain't open? How come things ain't work out for me? How come they did me wrong and they got away with it and then, you know, they got blessed. But I, come on, man. Like, what, what about me? You may feel like that. But I want to tell you something, though. You see this hallway that you're in right now? That's the perfect time for you to develop your relationship with God. Don't worry about what they doing. See, don't listen to me. Let, I'm trying to help you out. <laughs> don't worry about what they doing. You don't know what they had to do to get it. Some people do the wrong things to get certain things. And, and a lot of many people get fooled because they think all blessings are from are from God. The, the, the devil can give you some things as well. You don't know what that person did to get that. Don't sit there and envy that person and envy that person. No, listen to me. If it don't come from God, you don't want it. Because if you had to do wrong to, to get that over there, then guess what? You're going to have to do wrong in order to keep it. You, you, you feel me? That's right. Yeah. So look, you do right. It don't it, it don't matter what it look like. You keep doing right. Your hallway, hey, sweep the hallway when you in the hallway waiting on the Lord. The Bible says they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Sweep the hallway. Turn that, turn that, put you some posters in the hallway. That's right. Put you learn, learn to enjoy your season. Because when the right door does open, guess what? It's going to be from him. But you want to be grateful. You want God to be able to look at you in that hallway and say, that's my son. That's my daughter. Still, still, still talking to me, even though, e e e even though I know their heart and I know that they're expecting something, but they're still worshiping me. 
Don't let your worship be based upon condition. No, let your worship be based upon who he is. So I need you to do me a huge favor. Regardless of what your situation look like, even if, even if you don't even feel like another door is going to open, it's all right. I'm not one of these people that's going to come on here and lie to you and tell you, hey, man, listen, your, your blessing coming in six hours and in, in, in the next day, in the next day. I'm not one of these people that's going to lie to you. Yeah, that's right. Some some seasons, some seasons, listen, you, you got to endure. Some seasons is meant to develop you and build you. That's right. But it's strengthening you. It's strengthening your character. It's, it's strengthening your real relationship with God because you're going to need the real relationship to God uh, uh, with God to sustain you. That's the truth right there. I want to help you out. All right. And when the time is right, the Lord will make it happen. But until then, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, you, hey, go ahead and get back praising him. The Bible says, this is the day that the Lord has made, right? We shall rejoice and be glad in it. He didn't say if, if your circumstances are good or if this going on, then you rejoice. No, this is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it regardless. Not regardless, regardless. Yep, yep. Look, my, my guy right here, he pulling the buggy. You know what I'm saying? A guy that work here. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. What's up, man? How you doing? All right. Hey, have a good day, all right? All right, appreciate you. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Let me get a shot of my guy over here, man. Look, pulling the buggy. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Look here. You know what I'm saying? The same way he pulling that buggy, that's the same way God pulling us, man. He growing you to a new level. You want to stay way out there? No. What you want? You want him to pull you closer to him. See, any true basket in this parking lot want to be close to the store because that's their identity. That's who they are. You don't belong way out there, man. You feel me? I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to comment the words. It's a long sentence now. Until God opens the next door, praise him in the hallway. Once again, I need you to comment. Until God opens the next door, praise him in the hallway. That let me know you're a real one and you made it to the end of this video. Hey, I love you so much. Hit the like button if you appreciate these videos. Subscribe to the channel. New videos every day, 6 o'clock a.m. Central Time. I love you so much and I'll see you in the very next video.